Good morning, happy Sunday. So I'm glad that we waited till today. We have a gorgeous day today and we're going to see a parade of homes. This is house number 123. We are in Avalare neighborhood. Um, so if you don't know where that is, we are right off Falls of Noose, uh, where Durant intersects with Honeycutt. And yesterday was a really busy day for the Parade of Homes. So we've arranged a private showing this morning. Um, so we're going to be going through uninterrupted and seeing what this home has to offer. So I'm Laura Harris, realtor powered by Fathom Realty. As you can tell, it's a windy day here in North Carolina. Welcome fall. Um, but we're going to go ahead and head inside. I appreciate everyone that voted. So this was the house that got the most votes to go and see um, in the Parade of Homes. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. As we go along, if you want to like or comment, if you have any questions, please drop those. If I don't get them answered while we're going live, um, I'll get them answered after the fact. But we do have a lot of house to see today, so I'll move as quickly as I can and make sure that we hit the biggest features of the houses um, that makes it unique and kind of gives it that special feature, that wow factor that we always talk about. So if you know somebody that is in the market for a house or just loves looking at houses, uh, if you know someone that can afford this house, I'd like to be friends with them. Um, but be sure to share this video as well if you know somebody that would love to take a look at it in the real estate industry, in the market, or just loves HGTV because this is real life, people. This is HGTV. So I'm going to flip you guys around. Enough about me. We are going to head inside. So this house is a new build. It started construction in May of this year. So for a house of this size and quality and craftsmanship, um, that's actually very impressive that they finished it in just under five months. All right, it's a little warmer in here. So as we walk into the main foyer, you have your formal dining room off to the left. Um, and obviously this house has been staged beautifully. So. This is kind of a modern take on the traditional country farmhouse. So you can see that the decor matches that. So it has a lot of gray and wood undertones. And then it's kind of highlighted with those natural greens and those bright greens. So going into the living room and kind of the grand seating area, a lot of built-in shelving. So that was a trend that we saw a lot yesterday was the built-in factor, really makes it personalized and kind of streamlined. Gas fireplace. And then a gorgeous seat, ceiling on the seating area. So you have the wood planks and then you have the large beams running across. Really gives it that country feel. And we'll head outside. So. They have a gorgeous patio out here and it has a full kitchen, pretty much. Um, so it has beer cooler, place to put your wine, place to put ice, a place to grill. Um, this is a wooded view in the back. And it has a two tiered patio. So I really like that. It has this top area, which has a stone floor, which would probably be a little bit more of like your entertaining area. And then if you step down, it has a little bit more of an intimate patio. So I would see this as where you would have a table set up and have dinner with the family. But this is the view, it's just beautiful back here. We're in the woods. You can actually see from here, there's another patio off the master bedroom, which we're gonna go there next. But again, that stonework just really gives it the country feel. And these sliding glass doors are amazing. It is an entire wall of sliding glass doors. <laughs> so as we go into a more informal dining room, but another seating area, you can really see what I was talking about with the colors. So having that green pop, but still having the neutral tones underneath. A very cool light has the Edison light bulbs. And then the formal kitchen. So large island is something that people are looking for nowadays. See a lot of that, that's a popular trend. Things that are built into the island. So as you can see, this comes with a lot of cabinetry, built-in outlets, 
built-in appliances. Again, just going for that streamlined look. And the tile work is exquisite in the kitchen. Again, view of the back. So this whole wall, as you're doing dishes, <laughs> this whole wall, you can look out into the woods. It's gorgeous. You have a four-door refrigerator, which I didn't even know this was a thing, um, but you've got double doors on the top and on the bottom. So another thing that I saw a lot yesterday was the dual kitchen. So you have your normal entertaining kitchen that we're used to seeing, but then there's also a prep kitchen. So this is the prep kitchen in this house and it actually won um, a special feature award in the Parade of Homes. Um, but again, you see everything built in streamlined, but you know, when you have people over you don't want everyone seeing the mess that you're making or what's going into the wonderful food that you're preparing. So this is kind of where all the magic happens behind the scenes. I really wish I had one of these. This is awesome. And then a downstairs laundry room. So something else in some of these high rate homes that we've seen is dual laundry rooms. They'll have a laundry room on each floor. Um, so that way, I mean, you know, if you have a family, especially one laundry, one, one washer and one dryer just isn't enough sometimes. This house actually has two garages. So this is the first two car garage, standard garage. Has kind of like a little mud room. So this is great place to put your shoes, drop your purse, hang your keys. I know for me, that's a lot of the clutter is coming in the door and not having a place for it. So that mud room kind of gives you a little drop off area. Have another side entrance. And this is the other garage. So I guess if you lived in this house, you could have four cars. I don't think that's outside the realm of possibility. Um, so there is enough room for four cars or you could potentially use one for cars and use one for storage. So something they did that was really great is above the garages, they made use of this space. So we're seeing this is a trend as well, whether it's, you know, aging parents or kids that have student loans and need to move back home <laughs> or teenagers, or you have, you know, someone who's a housekeeper or a nanny and full-time cares for your children. This is kind of like the in-law suite, as we would call it. And this is above their garage. So when you look at the front of the house, you'll see these windows. Um, and that's looking right into the little room that we have here, which gorgeous North Carolina fall trees. But it's complete with a bathroom. Um, this house is 5,610 square feet total. It has five bedrooms. And it has five full bathrooms and two half bathrooms. And I really like the stonework in this bathroom. You'll notice as you get into the higher end houses, yes, they're bigger, but what really makes them unique is all of the little special intricate details like the tile work, the stonework, things like that. So again, full wooded view, lots of natural light, this is a pretty cool little space. I would live here. <laughs> if they need a maid, I am I'm available. So I'll head back downstairs. And this basically has a separate entrance. So that second entrance, whoever lived up there could just come in this way without having to go through the main part of the house. So we're gonna go back where we came from. We're gonna take a look at the master bedroom. I don't think I formally stated it yet, but this house is listed at a cool $1,675,900. Don't forget that 900. All right, so the master bedroom is absolutely breathtaking. To me, this is the most impressive room of the house. Um, so as you walk in, you have basically cathedral ceilings, a gorgeous chandelier light, and just look at the windows, the natural light, the view. I can't imagine this in the morning when the sun's rising. And then you have your own private deck off the master. So we could see this from the other deck. Locked us in. 
So private deck off the master. So this would be where in the morning, sit out here and drink coffee. I mean, when it's nice weather, I would put a desk out here and work, honestly. But you're in the woods, it's beautiful. So we'll now go into the master bathroom. We have a gorgeous crystal chandelier right there. And again, just the little details and the intricacy is really what I want you to notice here. So they have set up like a vanity station, which as a woman, <laughs> you know how kind of frustrating it is sometimes to try and do makeup and be leaning over a counter and don't have the mirror close enough. So they actually cut out that area so that you could sit um, and have a vanity, a true vanity station to get ready. Half bath in there so you don't have to watch each other. And then this shower, I call this a shower, but it's really a room for showering. It is ginormous. So multiple shower heads, dual shower heads, gives you options. Saw this in a lot of houses yesterday too. Um, this even has jets on the wall that come like at you, which is kind of awesome. And again, just look at the tile. I mean, it's beautiful. Just the detail in the tile. And then mixing up the tiles as well. So you start with this tile and then you have an accent here. And again, I'm in the shower room. It's a room. You have mobile shower head, normal rain shower head, full rain shower head, and then the side nozzles. And it's all encased by glass. So it's very streamlined, very modern looking. Um, but just looks really clean. And then there's the second, second sink and second vanity. So they're separate, which I like that, um, as opposed to them being side by side. And then this closet is kind of the thing that dreams are made of. I like, ooh, it takes my breath away when I walk in here. So again, the built-in, you're gonna see a lot of built-in features, especially in the closets. So this is the closet. We've got the built-in for hanging, but also the built-in for whatever else. I'm thinking shoes for sure, um, but you could put whatever you needed to in there. And I'm like, this is the size of an apartment I probably lived in at one point in time, is this closet. Natural light, I love that they added the window right there. And then a built-in full-length mirror. So I saw this a lot yesterday too, I think it's great. Um, when you're trying on clothes, you can stay in your closet slash room and have the full-length mirror. So upstairs, we have three more bedrooms. So in total, there are five bedrooms. There's two down, the master that we just saw and the guest. Again, talking about accents, look at the lights. Lighted stairs. So, especially if you have kids, or if you're like me and you're just a little clumsy, um, lighted stairs. So three bedrooms upstairs. There's something really cool that they did with these bedrooms though. So as we go into the first one, look at how they did the windows. So again, small details, um, but they did the windows to kind of like go with the angle of the, of the ceiling. And it looks really cool. And it gives you some added light as opposed to if they just put two smaller windows in there. And these bathrooms, I just love what they do with the white. So this is all white, but the detail of, you know, the patterns and the different textures, it makes things pop. So. You know, you have the hardware that's shiny. You have the floor that has a really cool design on it. And then the flooring in the shower is the same design, but a different color. And then it has tile on the wall that's a little bit different too. So I love things like this that are very simple, but they have enough accent on them to make them look still very interesting. So this is actually a bonus room. This is not a bedroom. 
And so this would be kind of like your game area. I'm not gonna say man cave because I don't know if I fully believe in that term, um, but this would really be an entertaining space upstairs. Again, really cool light, um, but you've got it wired for the TV. You've got all of the windows. So again, natural light. And what's really awesome about this room is it has a wet bar. So a place where you can drink wine, have a beer, put out some snacks. Again, the built-in streamlined. So you've got the appliances built right in, including a wine fridge. Perfection. And I love this back here. You can tell a lot of people have touched it. It has fingerprints on it, but they did a glass tile on the back, a mirrored tile. So again, not overcomplicating it, not making it too complex, but just that simple accent looks really awesome. And then they do have an, inner, or an unfinished space, excuse me, which is nothing exciting, but it's kind of cool that you have this that you can do whatever you want with it. So it could be storage, you could finish it off, um, but it's a good space up here too to just have some flexibility. Another bathroom, again, look at the tile. Really cool tile, gives it a little something. The mirror is really neat, got that pop of the green to kind of balance the grays. Details. So one more bedroom, we've got a pull down attic, so there's extra storage space up here. They're currently marketing this as a gym. Um, this is not a bedroom because it does not have a closet, um, but this is a great space. So it wouldn't necessarily have to be a gym, um, but it does not have a closet. And again, the windows with the view, natural light. Now this is a bedroom because it has a closet. Again, another white bathroom, but this is different than the other ones. So every single bathroom, there's seven bathrooms in this house, they're all different. And they all have kind of like their unique little style. So again, a lot of the whites and grays, but look at the texture on the floor. And then again, a really cool, like a scalloped tile in the tub. Really neat, it makes me think of mermaids. So if you have a daughter that's a mermaid, and again, natural light windows. They have a lot of added little windows like that that really give it an open feel. Final bedroom up here. They have the large beams on the ceiling, kind of like what they had in the downstairs living area. Just gives it a little something unique. And again, a really cool bathroom. So look at this tile work. It's got like the marbling, but then it also has these accent tiles that give it a little something. Very neat. So that is it for the upstairs. We're gonna head back downstairs and show you that one last guest bathroom. I can't get over the lights, they're pretty cool. So this is the final guest. So this is kind of like right when you come in, which some people are like, oh, I don't like that. But this is perfect for guests, parents, family. They've got a beautiful view um, right off the front of the house. Um, it would be really easy for them to come in and out without disturbing you um, because they are so close to the door. This is a really nice bathroom. So this is nicer than the ones upstairs as well. Again, tile work. So if you look at this shower, they've got like the clear tile with the gray background and then they have the accent right here, which is beautiful. If you know anything about tile work, you can tell good craftsmanship on tile work by, by feeling it, feeling how smooth they got it and how level everything was laid. It's a beautiful bathroom for a guest bathroom. go back into the living area. I'll actually go back outside to finish up. They're just getting started today. It's the last day of Parade of Homes. 
Um, they've had over a thousand people come and see this house. They actually have a few people interested in it. I am not one of those people. Let's just be clear. Um, we'll come back out here. And I didn't show this before, but the ceilings out here are fantastic. They're like a gray wood. They have built-in recessing can lights. A very like rustic looking fan. Very cool if you can see the texture and color to it. And then they have the wide beams that match what we've seen in the rest of the house. And then they have this open area up here. So again, more natural light um, makes the space feel more open. But I really like how they've set up this back area back here. So like I said, if you have any questions house, please drop them in the comments. I'd be happy to help. Um, and if I don't know the answer, the agent that's selling the house is here. So I'll just ask her. Um, but I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for voting. Um, if this house is a little bit out of your price range, that's okay. Um, if you are looking to buy or sell in the triangle, I am more than happy to help you. I'm Laura Harris. I'm with Fathom Realty. And, you know, that's my specialty. I would love to help you out. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have anybody, like I said, that just loves to look at stuff like this um, or some little tidbits you want to pass along, please share. Sharing is caring. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.